Hey guys, this is Shysters. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. You'll notice that, hmm, where am I? Where could I be? I am on my very first island tour and I am, I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this because this is an island I am obsessed with. As soon as I heard this person was releasing their DA soon, I messaged them and was like, please, please, please let me visit. Um, and so here I am and I'm really, really excited. So this is the Island of Sunrose by Sunrose Crossing on Instagram. I will link all of the things that you need down in the description. Um, and their island is called Sunrose. It is inspired by the deserts of Western Australia, specifically the Pilbara region, which is, I don't think I've seen an island inspired by Australia or any parts of Australia before. Um, I am from New Zealand and I've thought about doing one for New Zealand and I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'd do. So I'm always really impressed when people are able to interpret real places into Animal Crossing and get the atmosphere and everything correct. So. I'm really impressed basically by everything. This creator can do no wrong. I, everything they do is good. So I'm really excited. Um, all right, first thing I'm gonna do is check out the map and their villages. And if they don't have any kangaroos or koalas, I'm gonna be very upset. Is it? Is it? Well, they do. Unbelievable, but we'll move on. <laughs> so these are their residents. They've got Mara, Lily, Rio, Lobo, Tasha, Kitty, Shep, Francine, Bam, and Weber. An interesting lineup. I like the mix. It's really good. Still flabbergasted. They don't have kangaroos or koalas. Uh, all right, let's get started. I decided to start a resident services uh, because I heard from their post that there are ooh, some gifts. I'll pick these up. I tried to wear my most like Australia desert practical outfit. I've got my like walking shoes on. I've got the hat because the sun is really intense in Australia and New Zealand. So very important to slip, slop, slap. Little reference for you guys out there <laughs> um, because you get burnt. And your dungarees are also, you know, pretty practical backpacks, got all my snacks and stuff in it. So let's see what these gifts are. I'm really excited. An ocarina, soft serve. I'm assuming that's a, a $1 McDonald's soft serve. Uh, some, app oh, is it apple juice? Yeah, apple juice, which I'm gonna assume is substituting for a can of beer. Uh, Outback hat and lace up boots. I feel like these are more, yeah, definitely more appropriate boots and like the best hat I've ever seen. Okay, what should I hold? toss up i think i'm gonna hold the ice cream yeah that's very cute yum okay well, let's first of all head this way to the airport to get the full experience of the entrance mm. it's it's delicious i love it the atmosphere of adding like these little bugs in the cages Oil barrels, you know, I love oil barrels. The pathing, I love this. This is quite a close resident services, but it still feels like a really good distance. And all those fake buildings, I love it. The beware of kangaroo sign. I'm always impressed with people who can like do this kind of like building stack. It looks really, really good. We've got a little a little dig site, I guess assuming it looking for some water because we're in a desert, so you need some need some good water. Okay, so let's head down this way. I do have the map up because I am so sure I'll miss things and I'm shocking at directions. So let's go down this way. What have we here? The residence house. Okay, cool. So this is Surf Shack. Fair enough, good surfing in Australia. I don't surf, but if I did, I would assume it's good in Australia. Okay, let's go up here. This little beautiful patch. Oh, I love this. This is like the beauty of this island. It's just a few dotted items that make the areas look so atmospheric. It has just a perfect vibe and I, I'm so impressed. I'm always afraid to decorate with lots of flowers, but yeah, the, the, the tracks, the car tracks and little tumbleweeds, it's just perfect. I love it. Okay. Oh, got two map mounds. Oh, what's this? Who's this? 
Oh yeah, working on some boats. Classic, okay. Let's go this way. I'm gonna run for the map again. I need to. So this is lighthouse. Okay, and then this way. So this is the ranch and it is to the left of the red desert. Okay, oh, so cute. So uh, just, mm, mm, the simplicity. I am afraid to be like this simplistic with my item placing and this creator just does it perfectly. I just, I want a little bit of this, I want a little bit of this talent for me as a treat. Oh, so good. Okay. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to keep going around the left because that's the natural way that I want to travel. Uh, yeah, Australia, New Zealand, it's left first because that's the side of the road you drive on. Um, okay, so up here is the telescopes area. So cool. I love this. Let me get me camera. A little, a little pick of me in the telescopes. My ice cream. It's just so good with the tire tracks. You should look at their Instagram and the way that they take photos on the island also, like the way they compose them with the items in the background. So impressed. These things are like really surprisingly big. So why can't I, um, I don't understand that. Okay, ooh, Stonehenge, famously in Australia, of course. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna go down to the red desert windmills so beautiful okay I'm really excited about the desert so good like the way that they're able to like have this huge open space and just a couple of rocks and having the, the termite mounds like lining the area and the, this like cracked earth path it's just so good it's so good. This time of day in, in the season as well, they really picked everything like perfectly, like perfect to get the atmosphere. I, I'm a flabbergasted. Okay, so Red Desert. Now I want to go back this way. Sorry about the way that I travel around this island. I just, I, my navigation skills are embarrassing. Okay, so we have another little house up here and these are the hillside stations. This kind of reminds me of a video game, but I can't remember which video game. And I'm gonna I'm put on the screen the one that I'm thinking about. Um, I really like the use of like the radios. Has that kind of rural station feel. It's like really perfect for that. Mm, a little beautiful arrangement. Just, just perfect. I like, I would never think to put these like this group of items together but it's just like perfect for the theme and looks really really good a little little art piece little sculpture piece right here okay and then this way we have the hot springs this is so ambient i'm gonna leave the sound in i'm gonna sit down That's so peaceful. It's so nice. The beautiful like red tinged clouds in the background and they've enclosed it all with these like r different rock items as well. I would, I would pay money to go here. So beautiful. Okay. Let's keep going and look at my map because I'm scared I'll get lost. Ah, okay. So this is Abel's sister's they managed to blend this in like really, really well with just a few items. Cause I think like the stores and stuff are really hard to make them blend in, especially when you're doing like a really specific theme. And I think like just by adding in a few different tones of like ready brown, they're able to kind of like neutralize the like blinding, <laughs> blinding red and green out of Able Sisters. So it really looks good here. Like I'm really impressed. Okay. And who's down here? I'm assuming the secret beach. What well, we got? Secret beach with some turtles. 
Hi friends, snap one and I love the noise they make. Okay, let's head back this way. And so this way I believe is the museum. So whoop. this is so nice. I've noticed that we've not actually got the path here anymore. We've got this like deep sort of orangey yellow grass. Almost like kind of swampy down here, which is really cool with this moss. Having this tucked away in here looks really cool. It kind of gives it sort of like an ancient ruiny kind of feel to it. And it's really nice. It's also kind of cozy. I think it's just nice. I really want to go down here for no reason. Is there anything here? No. But I made it here. Proud of me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Um, and we're going to go... Let me consult the map. We're going to go to the barbecue. Very important to have a barbecue on an island like this. Barbecuing outside. It's just right. I kind of need to switch my item to the, this is the beersy, you know, barbecuing, having a beer in the outback. It's just right. This is <laughs> absolutely perfect. And you can hear like the sizzling noise of the barbecue. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. So uh, back, back on my map, barbecue, and we want to go this way. Oh, there's a rep. Cool outfit. I love it. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for creating this beautiful island. Okay, let's go this way. So this way is the mine. Yes. The moon there. Oh, this is really cool. I love this. Again, another like nice ambient item. Creates a nice sort of background noise. So one thing about the Australia that I know really well is that a lot of people leave New Zealand to go work in the mines in Australia, so makes sense to me. This is really, oh, I love, okay, I love this and I forget to do this. Having the campsite sign backwards is just a nice, like another sort of red, like brown red. I don't know how to describe colors today, but like, like look at really brown. I got there, like a really brown color to kind of really, I don't know, add, add more of this rich color, bring everything together. Because again, like there's not, it's a big empty space like around here and it's so easy to navigate this island. I love that. I get really stressed when I get stuck or don't know where I'm supposed to be going. So I appreciate big open space and a map that I can look at and that's like, makes sense to me. So, mm, chef's kiss. How many chef's kiss will I do? Probably a lot. Um, okay, let's go this way, past the bicycle, and we got a lookout. Oh, this is so cool. This feels very like, I don't know, nostalgic, kind of, like it seems like a view that I've seen before. It seems like quite realistic. It's just really nice terraforming. I'm so excited to see what they work on next. Like I am, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. If you're watching this, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm wanting to see. All right, we've got the campsite down here. Let me stay, I'm moving in. Okay, let's go this way. Again, consulting the map. So down this way, we have a flower field. Okay, let's go down. Oh, we certainly do. Oh, I love it. I I need to do more flower fields. Like, look at this. Oh my god, with the sky. I feel like this island you can just go and just bask in like a beautiful, simple view. I look at this. Is this like you could just like meditate? <laughs> you just have a peaceful moment. It's like island ASMR. I love it so much. <laughs> This choice of the colors as well, like this feels like they chose this time of day because of this beautiful flower field to like reflect the setting sun. It's so beautiful, I love it. I also love like the ambient sound of the radio cutting in and out. It's very perfect. Can 
we've got the caretaker right here of the flower field. And then up here, oh, toilet, classic. I'm assuming this is a long drop. Uh, okay, we're gonna go up here. Got some villages. Also, the way that the villagers' houses have been kind of like blended into the landscape, I haven't really thought about, like it feels like there's not that many villages on here, even though I know there's like the normal amount. I have such trouble in like placing them and making them not be like a huge deal on my island. Like I'm like, this villager must have a huge area, but like these just blend in nicely. And everyone's so happy, look at shit. He's like, how can he not be happy on this island? This beautiful flower field. It's interesting like visiting islands like this where things that I would like be bothered by on my island they're not even a problem here they're like so beautifully blended like when the path doesn't meet meet the edge of the cliff but like because of the beautiful like autumn tone grass meeting the deep red and having the bushes kind of like break it up a little like it's something I didn't even notice it just looks that good um I really like this view as well we got kitty down there smiling at me she's really smiling at me I'm not nervous I'm gonna Oh no, I need to do the trick so I can get the moon in. I just, I didn't even realize it's there. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, please. I'm so stressed. I don't know why. I just need to, how do I do this? I could take the perfect photo. Oh my goodness. Is that not like the most amazing view? Lobo, looking at the moon. Oh my goodness, it's like perfect. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then must consult the map. I think there is. Okay. We've got some beach cabins and I've got a fishing spot, which makes sense. You know, there's lots of beautiful beaches in Australia. I have been once or twice and uh, they have very nice beaches in comparison to New Zealand. We have cold old beaches. Australia has beautiful, beautiful beaches. So uh, this is really cute. Wheat fields and uh, wheat plants on the beach. I need to, I'm going to write this down in my inspo because in this little path, it feels so natural. I didn't even notice it was there. That's really cool. Okay. So I think once we go past this fishing spot, we are back to the the fishing spot was down here, I think. Did I miss it? Oh, there's a little thing to it. Look at that. So, no, let me sit, please. So this is, this is right. My fishing spot, I've got my beer. So many really cool photo opportunities on this island, like one after the other, there's so many. I wish I was better at taking Animal Crossing photos and then I could you know, do this island a little, I'd like a little smidge of justice. And here we are back at the railway tracks. By the, a little slice, a little slice of suburbia here. And I think we missed uh, Nooks. Yeah, Nooks is here, which makes sense. It makes sense to have this like little area where you've got the kind of life and people. Oh my God, this is, this is just a truck bag here. How'd you get up there? It looks so good though, like that makes... This is the thing that like bamboozles me about islands when I visit them, is people who use items in a way that I would never think to. Like I just, my brain would be like, I can't put a truck on a cliff, but it is just decoration. It looks like perfect and it looks really cool. And it adds to this kind of like suburban jumble. Ugh. I'm just never gonna leave. I'm just gonna, this is like, my aspirations in Animal Crossing designing is getting like that balance right and this creator has perfected it. All right well that that is the end of the tour. I'm like weeping it's such a beautiful island. I love it so much. Um, please please visit and please have a look at 
this creators page on Instagram. Um, they have so many beautiful, beautiful posts. They've got like wide angle shots they've taken. They even posted some shots of their island in black and white and that looked beautiful as well. I think it's impossible to take photos of this island that look bad really. So that's good for me and my terrible photography. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this was so exciting. I was really nervous about filming this because I haven't done an island tour before and I, I didn't know what I was going to say, whether I'd just be like slowly weeping the entire tour and just being like, oh, this is art. This is high art. I'm sure like in the future you'll be able to do an art degree and, you know, just specify that you want to do just Animal Crossing and this creator, you know, they would get an A+. That was a weird tangent, but that's how much I, f I love this island. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, have a great one. Bye-bye. I said have a nice day twice, which you should, so you, you better. Okay, for reals. Bye-bye.